This is my introduction video to the Get It Painted Challenge. Uh, it's October the 14th, I just started in October 10th. And I'm quite pleased with myself so far because I actually finished a whole squad. Uh, because all I want to do was just do the tabletop standard. Nothing too big or complicated or whatever. Ah, oh, god damn it. Alright, I had to fix that. A good thing I did this video, because I didn't see that before. Anyway, so... Explains a bit about this squad. This squad is a squad I bought from eBay, originally. Uh, because I just wanted... Some heavy flamer squad. And this was advertised as two flamers and one heavy flamer. But as you can see, it's three flamers, and I do not, and I did, I did not want to do a fucking conversion and take, and try to find one heavy flamer that I have, that I haven't already used on another unit, to do on this. So what I decided to do was just paint him red. So these are the regular flamers, and th this is the heavy flamer. And these ones are so hard to do. The only thing that's going to keep my f whole army uh, kind of the same is going to be the bases. The bases are all going to be this... I don't know what you call this. Industrial... Base, I think? Oh man, I, I think I bought this base from PDC Gaming, but... They don't do anything anymore. I think the only thing they sell is... Um, I don't know what they sell anymore, but they don't sell these bases anymore. So if anyone knows where I can get bases like this uh, for heavy weapon squads or whatever, because I have enough for my infantry. I have like, I had 80 or 80 or 100 of these bases. So they're gonna, <laughs> hopefully they will, there, there will be enough for a guardsman army. But the bigger base and all that I do not have. So, this part of the Get a Paint Challenge, a success. I also decided I'm going to do my Sauron Warrior Squad as well. So, I got eight of these guys. Uh, no, like ten. Wait, four. Ten. Ten of these guys. Base coded. And like... I guess semi highlight. There's something wrong with my camera. But anyway, semi highlighted. And eh, it's doing okay. This is supposed to be <laughs> the test one I did. But I did not airbrush him or anything. And I can already see where. Uh, what I kind of want to do. The skin. I want it to be red, but I don't. I don't feel. The green shields or the accent color with green that much. Uh, obviously, I'll see what happens when I start highlighting the green and all that. How how it will look. Um, I'll probably just do a regular steel blades. I try to do like a, I don't know a fantasy metal that's going to be blue, but. No, I'm just gonna do steel. So, and where's the leader of the group? This is going to be the leader. And as you can see, he's only base coated white. Not base coated, primed white. And that's because the leaders of the squad are going to be albinos. So, we'll see how that goes. It's going to be albino with... I think a red shield is what I might do. And I don't know what accent color I'll do. Maybe red. Keep the greens, maybe to the feathers, maybe some blue feathers and... I don't know. I mean, the thing that you probably can tell by this gate, Get Painting Challenge so far is that I've overextended. Because this is not only the only thing I'm planning on doing. 
What I'm gonna do now is that I'm going to prime her black with her cape. And the head I probably won't do anything with. Um, because, oh, this plastic, whatever they're doing, actually takes paint pretty well because I've actually painted her, as you can tell by the difference of the golds. I started painting this gold and it takes paint pretty well. But the body, I want to do her that she's having a a leather suit or a black leather suit, kind of like Catwoman has. Or Catwoman. So, or latex. So I'll try to do that. I've done mascot on the skin. So hopefully... <laughs> and this mascot I did several days ago, so hopefully the, when I peel the mascot off, it won't take paint with her, because I did a test, and the mascot did not peel paint off, but it's been on here for several days. So we'll see how that goes. And also, this girl right here, the zombie Kiruna, that I'm working on, oh. Get away from me. Alright. <laughs> uh, I do not feel the turquoise bikini. So I might, I'll probably change the color of the turquoise, but the turquoise and the I don't know, the Nurgling Rot and Necrotic Flesh and War Paints that I'm doing. Uh, I do not feel that it does very well with a turquoise. So I might do it... Come on, what's going on with the... I, I might do it like this type of color because this blue with this pink that I'm going to highlight once more with pink one, so we'll see the big transition that's going to go from Emperor's Children. I might mix these two actually, and then do one of these, we'll see what I'll do. Yeah, but, that, and also the hair I'm going to have to do some more work with, and the eyes, because she did have beautiful eyes like this, but I did not cover the eyes when I spray painted her or when I airbrushed her, so the eyes were a casualty of war. So I don't know what I'll do. I might just do her eyes completely white so she doesn't have a pupil. She only has like white white eyes. Might look a bit creepy, but hey, I'm trying to make her a zombie in a bikini. And then the base I'm going to do like an ocean floor. Not ocean floor, um, a beach. So, we'll see how that goes. Uh, I don't know what color I'll replace the turquoise with. And uh, that's still something I'm thinking of. But hey, it's the Get Painted Challenge also. I'm also working on <laughs> this, uh, which is a Chinese resin penitent engine. And I cannot imagine working on this one if it was metal. Because the amount of pinning I've had to do on resin is insane. I've, I've uh, pinned the arms, of course. I've not pinned the legs to the body because they're already pinned in how it works. So that I had... I did not need to do. Um, this leg right here, I obviously thought, alright, this I will have to pin, because not only have the type of um, pose that I'm doing, that all the weight and all the stress is gonna go on this joint right here, so I thought I need to pin it. But I also had to pin this little foot to here, because how weak the just joints are between right there. Even and I'm using Loctite super glue, but I mean, it's not a. I love how it looks, but I say, model wise, if you want to look at something that's gonna last, then this is not 
you need to pin it, is what I'm saying. And especially if it was metal, I'm like, man, you're gonna need to pin it a lot more than this. Um, all I've done is some base coats a bit on the flesh. And I used dried bark to just pick out all the... And this, I don't know what this is supposed to be. It looks like an upside down purity seal, so I just base coated it as well, just to pick it out. And yeah, also this flamer broke, so I'll probably cut it down a bit and make it look like it's not a flamer, but be something else. I mean, I don't have a sister army, and I'm not going to use it in the sister army. It's just something I want to paint. Just for fun. Whew. Oh yeah, also, the skull for the girl that I'm gonna do. I say this is just for the base. This is how it looked before, but I'll make this more as a skull. Whew. Jesus Christ, and that's all I had <laughs> planned for this get, get it painted challenge. I do not recommend doing what I'm doing, and what I'm probably doing is I'm doing too much, and I probably will burn, oh yeah, I also forgot, I'm going to paint these, uh, this will probably be very easy, because all I'm going to do now, now is prime them black, then airbrush them silver, and then pick up some details, because this is for the a uh, Dreadball Mantic box set. And I actually want to play that game. So I've already painted the teams. I've not painted all the MVPs. Because there was a lot of MVPs. But I've just painted the basic teams. And I've painted terrain. And then I'll try to play a game or two. And see how fun that game is. Uh, because I did an unboxing video months and months and months ago. So, oh god, I'm getting winded because I've talked so much and I'm planning on doing so goddamn much and do not do this guys, do not do what I'm doing and spread yourself this thin. Pick out the squad and finish it. I guess I kinda did it with these ones because, well, they got finished, but I mean... Let's see, 10 plus 12 plus... Yeah, I'm doing a lot of things. Too much. Don't do it.